Hello, I am Jacqueline Elaine Hudson, and I am coming to you today. This is our fifth day of prayer. And so, uh, as I mentioned or stated before, the Lord told me to pray for seven days openly. And so, today is the fifth day of prayer. And so, uh, and each day he's given me a passage by which the, on the basis of which I'm, I'm praying, I'm to pray. And so, and I don't have a script, um, written out. I'm just winging it based on the Holy Spirit, just what the Holy Spirit wants me, um, to pray on. So, uh, so for today, the passage is Isaiah 44, and it's chapter 44, and we're starting um, at 22, and we're going through to 24. And so, your get your Bibles or your devices, you know, it's um, what whatever works for you. And the translation that I'm reading is ESV. And so, um, and it reads, let's see. So starting at, and actually I said 22, I'm starting at verse 21. And it says, remember these things, O Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you, you are my servant. O Israel, Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. Sing, O heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout, O depths of the earth, break forth into singing. O mountains, O forest, and every tree in it, for the Lord has redeemed Jacob and will be glorified in Israel. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb. I have, <clears throat> from the womb, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread out the earth, by myself. And so, um, the, what I'm reminded of in these moments is they're the people, the men and women that God is raising up. And there are those that have not responded to the call, not responded to his wooing um, and in many cases they think they are not worthy um, that they've they've done um, so much and they're ashamed and even in many cases they are condemned they feel condemned whether that there are people that have made them feel this way or that they themselves have made themselves feel this way. And so uh, today I am calling those forth, those individuals forth in prayer and just uh, with a sense of urgency and with boldness, I am calling them forth um, now for such a time as this. And so uh, the Lord is good. And his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. The Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Many times we think we, we are looking at ourselves through our own optics. And because we, we're struggling in our mind and the enemy has plagued our mind with all of these thoughts and Thoughts of nothingness, 
not thoughts of unworthiness. But I want you to know you are who God says you are. This is not the time for you to sit idly by and not respond to his yearning and not respond to his wooing. He wants you to come forth. God loves you. He wants you to come forth. There's nothing that you've done that God, that has changed how God sees you. Let me say that again. There is nothing that you have done that changes God's optics for you, how he sees you. So, uh, you know, with that said, I, I just want to get into prayer because that's the most important thing. That's what moves God. But you are who God says you are. And you can't take that back. So, would you pray with me? Father God, I, I thank you for this time. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for all you're doing. I thank you for all that you have done. And I thank you, Lord God, for those for the hedge of protection that is in place around your elect, Lord God. And for we know no weapon formed against us shall prosper. It may form, but it shall not prosper. You are our shield and buckler, Lord God. And so, Father God, I just, I decrease so that you increase. Have your way, Lord God. Loose my tongue, for I know that death and life is in the power of my tongue. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So this is your script, Lord God prayers to move you in this hour. Hallelujah, Lord God. Father God, I just ask right now that for those, those that are sitting idly by and in many cases hiding and refusing to come out because they don't see them, <laughs> they don't see themselves as worthy as suitable they they're continuously seeing themselves as a misfit but lord god you specialize in turning a nothing into something and something big lord god for we despise not small beginnings father god i I thank you, Lord God, that in this hour, those individuals that have listened to the enemy and followed the enemy and found shelter in the enemy, I pray, Lord God, that in this hour, you turn the tide. You turn that this is their turning point where they turn to you and they hear that still small voice. They, they hear your whisper, Lord God, and they come to you. Your word says to come to you all come. Your word says, come to me, all ye who are heavy laden and you will give them rest. Come to me, come to the Father, all ye who are heavy laden, and you will give them rest. And so, Lord God, may they lean into you like never before. May they get close to you. May they draw nigh to you, Lord God. Prick their hearts, 
Puncture their hearts, Lord God, and may they respond in this hour. Father God, your word says that you, it is you that performs this. Just as you did with Sarah and Abraham, just as you did with David, just as there were things that we, that they had to do by faith. Because we know faith without works is dead, but it's you, Lord God, that performs the miraculous. And so, Father God, may they respond to your yearning, your wooing, Lord God, in this hour. Remind them, Lord, there is nothing that you want them, that there is nothing that they've done that cancels out their assignment, that cancels out the call on their life. Father God, I thank you for the men and the women. I thank you, Lord God, for the 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 Pauls, the Sauls turned to Paul, the Davids, the Josephs, the Esthers, Lord God, the Ruths, Lord God, the Deborahs, Lord God. <clears throat> May they respond and not shrink back and be bold. Be bold as a lion, Lord. May they say yes to the mantle, Lord God. And before, even first things first, that they repent, turn from their ways, Lord God, their wicked ways, <clears throat> and humble themselves in your sight, Lord God. Humble, your, humble themselves in your sight, Lord. Turn from their wicked ways, Lord God. And then you heal our land. You heal us in our hearts. You heal us in our minds, Lord God, and you heal us in our flesh. You settle our flesh. So I declare and decree now, peace, peace, peace throughout this land, Lord God. That wherever these, these men and women are, are to have taken shelter, Lord God, I declare and decree peace, peace, peace. Jehovah Shalom, peace. Peace, peace, peace. Where the enemy has gotten them afraid, afraid to speak out, af afraid to rise up, afraid to respond. They have not been given the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And it's your love that cast out, that doused all fear, that removes all fear, Lord God. Oh, Father God, I thank you. I thank you for this hour. May they come to know May they come to know you, Lord, in this hour. We know, Lord God, that, that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. That no man comes to you except by Jesus. He is the way. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Lord God, fortify them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Fortify them in their, their hearts. Fortify them in their minds, Lord God. Fortify them in their flesh. Settle them in their flesh. Your word says that they that wait upon the Lord you shall renew their strength. For we know it is in our weakness that we are made strong in you. 
Strengthen them, Lord God. Just as, as Daniel was strengthened when the angel of the Lord came uh, before him and, and responded to his, his prayer, he was strengthened. The Bible says he was strengthened. So, Lord, in this hour, strengthen those that feel weak, that they've been on this journey and they're they're afraid to come out. They're afraid to respond to you because the enemy has them bound and tricked and in a foxhole. But Satan, I serve notice to you. You have no place. You have no place. This is not your domain. This is our domain. For the word of God says, Luke 10, 19, we have authority over scorpions, serpents, and all powers of darkness. So back to the pit of hell with you and your minions and anything, anything that has uh, plans to take, to thwart the plan of God. Nothing thwarts the plan of God. So I just, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Demons tremble at the sound of the name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Demons flee at the sound of the name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Father God, may your word, I declare and decree now, that your word becomes flesh, that it manifests the very thing that you've spoken, that's been engraved for century, that is as, 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 as though it's been in a time capsule, Lord, and it's the set time is now to come forth. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for all of the tears that have been sown, all of the tears that you've captured in your hands, Lord God, in a bottle, in your hands, you've captured our tears. For those that have been crying and weeping in the midst of their circumstance, Lord God, for it is now that a time of great threshing and where you adorn beauty for ashes. I thank you, Lord God, for all those, those tears cried. This is where you adorn beauty for ashes. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And still, Lord, I, I keep being reminded for those that have been bound by addiction. It's a heavy yoke on them. And there's those out there that want to be free, but they don't know how. But I want you to know that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So, Father God, your word says that my yoke is easy. Your burdens are light and my burdens are light. So remove that noose, Lord God. Whatever that thing that has them bound, remove that noose now supernaturally. Dunamis strength, your dunamis power. Super miraculously remove the noose that's been on, that's been weighted on their back for years. If it's drugs, if it's alcohol, remove the taste from their mouth. 
That's a spirit. So I cast that spirit down now in the name of Jesus. It cannot stay. If you want it to go, it leaves today. Now, in the name of Jesus, those battling and weighted with sexual addictions, that's a spirit. We, I cast that down now in the name of Jesus. And you struggle with that addiction no more. The same holds true for drugs and alcohol. And you struggle with that addiction no more, according to Naomi 1 9. If your addiction is food, Father God, I declare and decree that that noose, that weight, that they've been carrying every, to and fro, <clears throat> it is removed. It is gone now. It must flee. Your word says, resist, resist the devil and he will flee. And you says, you said, Lord God, that there is no temptation known to man that we have been already, you haven't already made a way of escape. So it must go. It must go now, supernaturally, Lord. And they struggle with it no more. Wait. Addictions. It must flee now in the name of Jesus, supernaturally. Feeling of, of unworthy and nothingness. Your esteem, your self-esteem is low. You, you don't love yourself. It must go today. For those that are struggling in that area where you don't, you're not, you see yourself as not fit. You don't love yourself. The word says, I'm going to counteract that with the word of God. The word says, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. In fact, you are the apple of God's eye. I thank you, Lord, for your word and it manifesting in the here and now. Your work, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, Lord, it's in the earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, depression, Lord God, supernaturally. These bouts with depression. <clears throat> Even more so now in this hour with everything, COVID-19, Satan, you're a liar. You come to kill, steal, and destroy. You are the father of all lies. I serve notice to you. Cease and desist. You must loose the minds of God's elect. Post haste. Swiftly, Lord, you said no more delay. So back to the pit of hell with every thought that does not line up with God's will for his elect's life. You've been trying to let it go. You've been trying to turn over a new leaf. But the key is a leopard can't change his spots. Only God can change you. It's not by your spirit or your power, but it's by his spirit. It's by God's spirit. It's not by your might nor your power, but by God's spirit. That you are healed, sanctified, and set free. You are, I declare and decree now, you are healed, 
sanctified, and set free. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing with families and putting them back together. Bringing them back together. Cleaning them up. And making them whole again. As one. As a unit. It's another trick of the enemy. Tearing families apart. But I command now that families are restored. Whom you see fit, Lord God. Your will. Your plan. And then for those new families, the new budding families, the new thing that you're doing, that that comes, that no more blockage, no more obstruction of the family being taken out and destroyed. This is where it comes back together as God sees fit. I thank you, Lord, that your word is alive and active and moving. For it is in you that we move and have our being. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that we are reversed. That the things that have taken place We've come full circle and we are, for those in that season, we are reversed. And no devil in hell can take us backwards. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Peace, peace, peace. Jehovah Shalom, peace. Peace, peace, peace peace throughout this land, Lord. That looming cloud of depression that many have gravitated to and where it has set up shop in their minds and in their hearts, Lord God. I declare and decree now that that fog over their minds and their hearts, it has been lifted in this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus. And only you, Lord, can do that. For you work in mysterious way. You are a way maker. You are the promise keeper. <laughs> Miracle worker. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. I have seen you do it, Lord. I've seen you do it. So I call them forth now. All of those sitting at bay. And they know who they are. I call them forth now. The Davids. The Esthers. The Ruths. The Debras. The Saul's transformed into Paul. The Joseph's, those mantles, I call them forth now. No more hiding, no more shrinking back. I thank you, Lord. I just thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that your word has manifested in the earth. It is established in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And so I thank you for being a part of this prayer. I thank you for... And, and if you missed, you missed it live, go back and watch the prayer and say it out loud. Because there are 
mantles in the land that are sure to be picked up, that many have not picked up because they're afraid. Because they are, they think in many, many cases, they think they're not worthy. But I want you to know, God says you're worthy. God says you're worthy. It hasn't changed. What he's called you to has not diminished in any way, in any form, in any capacity. As a matter of fact, it is expansive waiting for you to walk in it. And God will lead you. <laughs> I love you, but God loves you best. Bye-bye.